Hi mom, welcome to my presentation of the country Ukraine. It is the second largest country in Europe and it just gained their independence in 1991. Quite young, only 20, um, like 31 years old. Due, due to the fact that it's the second largest, it has lots of resources. So, so it is called, it has a nickname of the bread basket of Europe due to their rich soil. So they grow a lot of wheat. Yeah. This led to the fact that they are being invaded frequently over centuries and centuries, even until now, due to the fact that they are rich in resources. For example, they invaded by the Poles, the Eastern Ukraine, the Mongols, and the Lithuania. Oh, looks like they have no independence for like a few decades of, I mean, centuries. Even so, they have a, a rich culture and history. Most Ukrainians speak Slavic, which is now, which is um, a type of a language group. Since Ukrainian is um, a Slavic type language, it is their national language. As for this history, Ukraine has over 2,000 castles and thousands of churches, which is incredible. <clears throat> and, and due to this, millions of visitors go to this country every year to see those wonderful sights. Due to the, the because of the diverse culture, many people, uh, no, I mean, the Ukrainian culture are diverse because there are many uh, um, po uh, population groups in the country. For example, the Jew, the Eastern Ukrainian, and the Polish, or, the ma or just a few minorities in Ukraine. And from my point of view, Ukraine is a, a very friendly country with unfortunate fate of them uh, up their sleeve because they are being infected so frequently. Anything that the Ukraine should maintain their independence because they currently Ukraine is are fighting a war for their independence, the Eastern and U Eastern Ukraine Ukraine war. Thank you for listening.